Did you guys know that there's a stock that went up over 5,800% in 2020 so far? A stock that went from $3 basically up now to $120. Going to talk about this stock in the video and what is going on. You guys might already know what stock it is because of the title now, but I'll, I'll save that for a minute. Just keep you guys on your toes, on your on the edges of your seat. We're going to talk about this move and look at some of the other competitors in this space where this company ends up in terms of revenue, market cap, share, the flow, all that fun stuff. Talking about it right here in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. <laughs> What happened? What What is happening here? Where have I been? How have I not seen this? Here is the story. So Overstock has gained more than 1,000% this year. And some analysts say that there's more gains to come. Okay, well, wh what's the story? Like, let me, let me, let me hear the, the thesis behind this, right? Tell me the thesis. Overstock shares already in the middle of an astonishing rally received of upstep a substantial boost on money from Piper and Sanders analyst Peter Keith, who picked up coverage of the e-commerce company with an overweight target of $140. So the stock is up 25% today because of an analyst. Heading into this call, uh, overstock shares were already up 1,200% year to date. The result of high profile management change last year and a refocused business targeting the home furniture home furnishing markets. Basically, there are seismic forces at work that have dramatically improved the sales and profitability outlook of Overstock well into the future. These forces include a well-timed refocus of the business on its e-commerce home furnishing bid business led by new management combined with the structural shift in e-commerce home furnishing sales as a result of COVID. Looking forward, we expect the industry backdrop to remain extremely supportive and Overstock has a number of operating initiatives to improve sales and profitability. It's mind blowing. So Overstock as a company's name implies started life as a reseller of end of run Overstock damage and other secondary goods. But the company's name no longer describes its business. It's now focused on home goods, much like Wayfair. Now, the analyst said that uh, the online portion of $300 billion US home furnishing market is expanded 32% of overall industry sales from 23% from the pandemic. The analyst said that they expect that overstock to benefit from an exceptionally strong industry backdrop for the next five years as a result of the e-com share shift and a favorable housing backdrop. Now, Overstock for many years was a subject of intense scrutiny tied to its controversial long-term CEO, Patrick Bryan, who stepped down last August and said that the new CEO has refocused the company on selling home furnishings. He notes that since Bryan left, the company has started a formal investor outreach program and has hired a director of investor relations. Now, so the analyst says that he's seeing overstock sales of 2.9 billion this year and 3.4 billion next year with profits of 47 cents a share this year and $1.27 a share next year. So that's the news. I just don't get what, how have I not seen this? Literally, how have I not seen this? What have I been doing with my life for the last three or four months that I have somehow magically just not seen that overstock went from $5, $3 up to $100 now? And you can see really just started in the last few uh, days or in the last half of August, uh, beginning there, end of July, going from $64 up there to 78 and now all the way up there to almost $120. Mind blowing and that's, I just wanted to make a video because this morning we talked about it on the live stream and you can see now it was up like 10% this morning and now it's up 25%. So this thing has continuing to head higher. It's actually got a really small float for the type of company that is. It's only got a 38.15 million share float. So. I mean, you, let's compare. Let's compare Overstock to someone like Amazon. If you look at Amazon, they have a 424 million share float. Looking up, like, so Walmart. Walmart has 1.3 billion. Basically, Walmart is trading at 135 dollars, while Overstock is trading at 116 dollars. So very close in that sense. But like I said, the float is a huge deal. So the float on Walmart is 1.39. The market cap on Walmart is 375 dollars. 
So we look at Wayfair, Wayfair is similar, has a 60 million share float and it's up to $314 with a market cap of 29.5 billion dollars. So Wayfair would be a better uh, better example or a better thing to look at here in comparison. So Wayfair versus Overstock and if you look at Overstock here, Overstock has a market cap of 3.7 billion dollars. So again, We've got how much to go? Yeah, we've got what is that? What's what's the math on that? Do the math really quick here for you guys. You know, I'm I'm good at math like that. So if we look at market cap on Wayfair being, we'll say we'll just say thirty billion dollars just to to make it easier. And if we look at the market cap on Overstock here, the market cap on Overstock is basically three. So you've got what? You've got a. Uh, 20 27 billion dollars more to go for overstock to catch up with wayfair at that point overstock i i mean like i said i'm not trying to buy this thing right now but i would definitely be a buyer of this stock if it does pull back here at some point uh whoever bought in there at that 85 dollar area i mean you know overall it was still really overextended there but that was sitting here now it's like hey that was a pretty good buy so it's amazing to see this type of rebound because this is not like a new stock by any means if you go back and you look you know back this is back in 2018 you had overstock trading at 86 dollars so if you were an investor let's say you invested in overstock back in 2018 and you saw just the overall decline look at this thing for quite i mean quite some time guys it's been going from basically 2018 and it's been selling off ever since and then magically here in april Pretty much the rock bottom, the rock bottom low here in uh, March was two dollars and fifty three cents. So at that point, the people thought that Overstock was just going to get you know crushed and pushed into the ground here. But look at this insane run. This is the weekly chart, and look at these candles. It's literally just been green, 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 green forever. So that's a good comparison. I would definitely compare Wayfair and Overstock as being competitors. This is a good way to look at it. Overstock. Wayfair, I'd have to do more research to kind of figure out who has what and all that. But in general, definitely interesting to look at the different market caps and the price of the stock and all that, how it's trading. So it looks like at this point that Overstock is starting to, to make moves here. You got the analysts talking about they're going to be looking for more revenue in the future here in this environment. I'm not really sure this is a fair valuation at this point. This might just be a massive squeeze really going on here. But in general, you got, I mean, I guess... You don't gotta, because I obviously, I blew it, because I didn't even know this stock was making this type of move here. But overall, wow. I mean, that's the stock market, baby. That is the stock market. Is that is that not the stock market? That's just what it comes down to. I mean, these things happen, right? And it goes, and it happens like, that's just how it goes, right? So, you know, back in March, we're at $5. We go to $10. We go to, you know, $15. No one really gets excited yet. You know, it goes from 18 to 25. Still not really that excited. Okay. Now we're above the, you know, we're above the, the VWAP there. We go from 30 to, we go from 27 to 33. And then you can see how the growth just really exploded there from 55 up there to 80 from 76 up there above a hundred dollars. So overstock looking a lot like a pity stock right now. Overstock looking like a pity stock, but in general, look at this. It's madness. The stock's up over 5,800% this year alone in this type of environment. I mean, literally what is going on at this point? What is going on, my friends? So there it is. Overstock. What do you guys think? Are you buying this insane rally? Are you waiting for the dip? Did you already buy the dip? What is going on with Overstock? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and all that fun stuff. Let's go.